Welcome to the app developed by the Applied Information Team at Stone Environmental for the Esri Climate Challenge. We developed a web app called Modeling Community Erosion from Climate Change to help community members and leaders understand the impact that climate change may have on soil erosion in specific locations throughout our, their community. We chose to focus on erosion because soil loss due to erosion has been a perennial issue leading to decreased agricultural productivity, desertification, increased runoff leading to flooding, and even hazardous landslide events. Changes in precipitation patterns have been forecast as a result of climate change, which will undoubtedly have an impact on erosion rates for many areas. In some locations, storms will become more intense, meaning that increased runoff intensity will increase erosion there. Information providing insight into possible erosion outcomes and associated uncertainties is needed for future decision making. Our app models erosion driven by daily precipitation data in historic and future time periods simulated by climate models. The app also directs users toward educational resources on mitigation options to combat excessive soil loss. Soil loss poses a resiliency challenge to communities even without accounting for projected climate change. Key conclusions of a Cornell University study indicated that the current level of soil erosion is higher than natural replenishment rates, that the cost of erosion on productivity is extremely high both in the U.S. and across the globe, and that soil erosion contributes to increased flooding and contamination of our waterways. Already with increased levels of precipitation due to climate change, we've not only witnessed more erosion, we have seen extreme and hazardous events, such as the major flooding in Colorado's Front Range in the fall of 2013 and the devastating landslide in Oso, Washington in, the March, in March of 2014. The effects of increased erosion rates are likely to impact every American in the future, and an increased frequency of extreme precipitation events resulting from climate change may lead to significant short-term damages. However, information about extreme erosion rates from current and future precipitation events is either currently missing or not easily available to the public. A web-based geospatial erosion hazard information system driven by Esri's ArcGIS server can be leveraged effectively to spread awareness and help communities build resilience from this important impact of climate change. The Modeling Community Erosion from Climate Change application enables community members and leaders to understand the impact that climate change may have on soil erosion in specific locations throughout their community. It provides a basis for taking preventative action regarding infrastructure investments, land use management practices, and soil conservation. Future er erosion is predicted based on precipitation data from five climate models that were part of the Coupled Model Intercomparison Project. Erosion predictions based on five climate models are provided in order to inform the public of the range and possible conditions that can be expected in the future, acknowledging that uncertainty is inherent in climate projections. The application was developed by Stone Environmental's team of scientists, modelers, and GIS programmers. Out of our interest in the impacts of climate change, our expertise in water resources, agricultural practices, and climate modeling, and our belief in geospatial solutions. Let's look at the app in action. When the user first visits the app, they see information for getting started on the left and a map showing current estimates of annual average erosion for the contiguous United States in the map frame on the right. The current estimates displayed on the map are based on the Universal Soil Loss Equation, known as USLE, developed by the USDA National Resources Conservation Service, or NRCS. USLE is an estimate of sheet and rill soil movement down a uniform slope using the static runoff erosivity as the erosive force acting on the soil. To get started, users first pan and zoom to an area of interest. The USLE erosion estimates can guide users to areas already at risk for high erosion under current climate conditions. Users can also jump right to their community using the geocoder. In this demonstration, we'll take a look at cropland outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. Once the user selects an area of interest, users click on any map point to run the dynamic modified USLE model. In the 1970s, NRCS developed the modified USLE model as a modification of their universal soil loss equation. 
The modified USLE is similar to the static USLE, except that it uses dynamic storm-based runoff estimates to simulate erosion and sediment yield for single events. When you click the map, you'll see messages indicating that the model is running and analyzing data. Results are presented graphically in the lower pane for monthly total and peak erosion rates for each month of the year. We see a chart of the monthly erosion in an average year for two 20-year periods. There is a historic average over the years 1981 to 2000 and a future average for the years 2051 to 2070. Both historic and future erosion predictions are calculated from daily precipitation data, data sets for each of the five climate models. The five model average data is shown in the chart. Soil loss in the peak event of the 20 year historic and future time periods is displayed for each month in the second chart. This chart provides insight into changes in peak erosion from a single one in 20 year event. Users may use this chart to identify changes in peak event, monthly frequency, and magnitude. Keep in mind that even for areas where the average monthly and annual erosion risk is low, rare extreme events may cause damaging soil losses. Comparing the magnitude of the peak erosion to the monthly total erosion can help users evaluate the risk of extreme events. The third chart shows the percent change in annual total erosion for each climate model input data set separately. Annual average erosion is calculated in each period and the percent change in future over historic conditions is displayed for each climate model. This chart provides insight into the robustness of future erosion predictions. Use this chart to understand when uncertainty in predictions is high. For example, models may show different magnitudes or even different signs of the change. And when uncertainty is low, model results may all have similar magnitude in percent change. Running the model with a mouse click on the map launches database queries of over 150 gigabytes of climate and soils data. Soils data is comprised of the Sergo database from NRCS. Current land use information is pulled from the newly available 2011 National Land Cover Dataset developed by the Multi-Resolution Land Characteristics Consortium. The precipitation data from climate models was statistically downscaled to one-eighth degree. This data was obtained from the archive of downscaled CMIP-3 and CMIP-5 climate and hydrology projections led by the Bureau of Reclamation. The future precipitation results applied in the app were driven by the future scenario known as RCP 8.5, in which greenhouse gas concentrations continue to rise so that radiative forcing approaches 8.5 watts per meter squared by the end of the 21st century. In response to a user click, a summary evaluation of results is provided on the left-hand pane. An erosion risk classification of low, medium, or high is given. Based on the type and severity of predicted erosion, users are directed toward different soil conservation resources. The app also allows users to investigate erosion risk for a variety of alternative land cover conditions, thus providing a mechanism for assessing resilience from the impacts through land use management. In this demonstration, we'll investigate the impact of changing cultivated cropland to barren land with no crop cover. We see that another plot line has appeared on the charts showing increased erosion if this proposed land use was implemented in the future. For more information, users should consult the user guide, which is found by navigating back to the home page. Included in the manual is a guide to getting started and the details of the methodology applied. The Modeling Community Erosion from Climate Change application makes innovative use of data by merging information from a wide variety of public sponsored data sources to make climate impact predictions at local scales. Developed for and during the Esri Climate Resilient App Challenge 2014, this application is available to help communities evaluate their resiliency to climate impacts on erosion. With continued development, the application could be advanced further to incorporate additional climate model data, refine model algorithms, and add features to explore effects of conservation.